so welcome back. Very interesting. It's been a very interesting few days. So, in the last video, you guys kind of saw the basis of a tattoo that I had just gotten. Um, the full thing, basically. Uh, essentially, there's a lot of reasons behind the reason for the tattoo that I got. Um, one of those very many reasons is... For those of you who have actually watched Game of Thrones, I'm not sure how many of you guys have actually watched Game of Thrones and how many of you guys have not watched Game of Thrones, but this tattoo is more of a uh, house sigil over like a literal tattoo over anything. Um, and basically it is a resemblance of basically something that's a part of Game of Thrones. Um, and one of their sayings is the North never forgets. Um, I've been through a lot of shit situations and scenarios where, you know, like, <clears throat> basically, I haven't forgotten it. Um, and there are some things that I forget temporarily, but then I remember it. And so, you know, I mean, for me, uh, again, this tattoo is kind of to resonate uh, the whole ordeal behind um, even getting this tattoo in the first place. Um, now, that being said and done, I am, it's not fully done, uh, it's just the outlining of it. Um, there's going to be a lot more and a lot more detail. Uh, I know that when it come, when it's finally done, um, you know, I will probably be making a full video of the full detail behind the reason for the tattoo, uh, as well as everything else. Um, but one of the many reasons behind why I actually got, uh, this tattoo was for a very, very specific reason. Um, basically, a uh, lady that was like my aunt. You know, I mean, I, I basically grew up with her being my entire life. And, you know, I mean, she was basically my aunt. Um, and when I was in BMT, she actually passed away. Uh, which was very difficult for me. Um, and I brought those up to my sergeants and they said, hey, uh, if you have a family member in your death, uh, we give you uh, up to five days to kind of go home and, you know, have that for you and whatnot. And so I just said, okay. Basically what ended up happening was I ended up uh, not going home uh, for her funeral when I was told that I was going to be able to uh, and I was stuck in training um, And then you know uh, Basically one thing led to another I ended up being sent home um, I Ended up getting back into the military They wanted me to go back into the Air Force. I basically said no after what happened last time You know, I don't feel comfortable with going back into the Air Force at this current moment in time However, I will return uh, at a much later date than uh, the intended time that you guys would like. However, I will return to another branch of service. Um, <clears throat> and so I ended up enlisting through the United States Army. Um, and basically, uh, everyone, as far as I know, in my uh, new, in my original squadron, um, has all basically got tattoos. Uh, I was one of only like three individuals in my entire BMT flight that had gotten a tattoo. Uh, I believe my entire tech school team uh, ended up getting tattoos prior to their uh, duty stations, which is kind of a nice thing, but it's also kind of a sucky thing because, you know, I didn't get to uh, be involved in that. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, I mean, everyone has their own little cliches and glitches and crap like that that uh, really resonates who you end up becoming later on in your life. And I feel like some relationships are just bound to uh, be reasons for you getting a tattoo. 
Um, another reason behind my tattoo is actually relationships, ironically, uh, which I probably should have said in my uh, last, uh, which is probably what I should have just made with my other YouTube video uh, being a bit longer, and more detailish of uh, relationships. Um, <clears throat> But basically, I've been through so many crap relationships uh, that really, this tattoo is more of, besides uh, basically my aunt's death, um, this tattoo is also to kind of remember me of kind of where I grew up, um, where I'm from, what I've had to deal with in my life, what I haven't had to deal with, and to basically just say, hey, you know what, things are going to get better eventually. Uh, you know, I mean, you can even see in the physical video uh, that, you know, I mean, I'm even growing a beard. The military doesn't typically lie to grow beards unless you get a waiver. Uh, if you do get a waiver uh, and it passes, you can get up to two inches at the longest, from what I was told. Uh, now, this is like a five o'clock shadow, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Um, but, you know, in, in all uh, realisticness, um, there are a lot of reasons behind me getting a tattoo. Um, <clears throat> when I was, uh, I believe if it was 14 years old, that was kind of when I started determining as to whether or not I wanted to get a tattoo or not. Um, and I started de determining when I was 16 whether or not I was going to be somebody who would drink, uh, whether socially or not socially or whatever the case may be. Uh, and I ended up drinking. You know, I do drink every now and then. Uh, I don't go out of control, you know. When I drink, I drink in modesty. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm adopted, and so uh, my biological parents, uh, you know, I mean, as far as I know, or at least from what I've heard, uh, they have alcohol issues. So, you know, for me, for me, basically, I try to avoid not having control over drinking and so when it comes down to it all I feel like the biggest thing is you got to know what you're doing before you even do it um, as well as know your limits before you can even start uh, I actually started drinking so I'm nearly 21 right and most people usually start drinking when they're teenagers I never drank before uh, I was 20. I mean, I did drink once before I was 20, but that was a small, small, tiny amount, and I didn't like it. And now I'm drinking it, and I don't care for it, uh, which is ironic because, you know, I mean, everybody's just like, you know, you got to get used to it, you know. You got to, like, continuously drink a lot in order to get used to it or to not mind it and you know I mean I drank one time when I was 19 didn't like it started drinking when I was 20 again and ironically enough I don't care for it right now I mean I do enjoy drinking uh, if it's socially um, but when it comes to just drinking as a whole I I don't really care for it all that much uh, I just drink when it comes to being social because, you know, to me, I have an issue with talking to people when I'm just naturally in front of a person. Uh, but recording seems to not be an issue. Um, and I feel like that is a lot of people's issues these days. Is, you know, people don't really seem to realize uh, the difference that people have in each other's lives. Uh, and the effect that you might have. Uh, <clears throat> from what I've always learned is, you know, booze or alcohol or uh, <clears throat> anything that is along those lines, you know, people refer to it as uh, liquid courage. And the reason behind it is because it literally gives you courage to do what you normally wouldn't do, to have a spine. Uh, I know when it comes to me in situations, I don't have a spine for jack crap and by that I mean I can literally sit there and have somebody telling me how much of a failure I am or how I'll never succeed in things and I'll just take it 
you know, instead of being like, well, you know what, this is what I think of you uh, in this type of scenario and situation. I'm just not that type of person. Uh, when I drink, uh, ironically enough, I am the type of person. Uh, <clears throat> do I mind drinking? Not so much. Uh, I know when it comes to my adoptive father, he does not condone drinking at all. Uh, he's actually never drank, as far as I know. Um, ever. He's never even considered drinking. Um, my adoptive mother has, as far as I know. But all of uh, my brothers have actually drank alcohol at some point in time. Which is funny, because my parents don't want to have, don't want to have, you know, I mean, they don't care as much as they used to. But when I was growing up, my parents were just like, well, if you drink, you're never coming back over here ever again. We drink, we still come over. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it's understandable because when you get older, you know, you start eventually mellowing out. Mellowing out. Um, <clears throat> and that's what my parents refer to it as. It's just like, no. You just realize that, you know, you can't change people. There's nothing you can do to change people. <clears throat> Before I went into the military, my hair on the sides and back was ridiculously long. Like, longer than this. I don't condone having hair this long, honestly. I would prefer to have it completely 100% bald, if it were up to me. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I mean, I prefer to have just bald hair on the sides and back of my head with a beard and hair that drapes down to, you know, my, basically the back of my head. Uh, it, it's funny, though, because when it comes down to it all, you know, they're just like, well, you know, your hair can't, uh, your hair cannot touch your ears. Or touch the bottom of your ears, depending on the branch, uh, and if you get a waiver for it. Unless you have a career field where you can literally just grow your hair all out. Um, but most usually standard-wise is it can't reach the middle of your ear. Uh, and it can't touch the bottom of, like, your eyebrow. Uh, you know, I mean, when you hear the bottom of your eyebrow, you know, you instantly think, oh, well, you know, it can't touch here. No, I've actually asked, and it's like around here. Because here's technically the bottom of your eyebrow. And the reason behind it being the bottom of your eyebrow is because when you measure it, um, hold on. You know, it, it reaches the top of uh, your ear. And so, you know, they basically say, hey, you know, bottom of your eyebrow is as far as it can go. And, you know, I mean, if that were the case, you know, if it was just, it can't touch your eyebrow, my hair's already touching my eyebrow. <laughs> So, you know, <clears throat> not like that, but you can't have uh, three inches. It can't be three inches thick. And by three inches thick, I mean, like, legitimately it cannot be three inches thick. So my hair is about an inch thick right now. Um, but that's go But this is going way off topic. Going back onto the tattoo thing. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, I'm getting just one just one tattoo uh, <clears throat> and it's base you know, I mean, I'm basically getting a sleeve um, but it's gonna cover my entire just this entire arm uh, only up to this point um, which is what you're allowed to do uh, when being in the military um, but you know I mean, this is going to be a uh, permanent thing um, I and mean, all tattoos are permanent things, unless you get it surgically removed, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, flaking, yay, love it, absolutely amazing. Um, but basically, this is going to get all colored in. Uh, this is going to be like a blackish blue. Uh, the teeth are going to be like pure white. Um, there was originally purple lines throughout all of this. Um, those purple lines were going to be a uh, silver, gray, blue. I'm kind of sad that, you know, it didn't happen. Uh, that I wasn't able to get it at that time. Uh, but, you know, it's it's whatever now. Um, 
But you know, it, tattoos can be a nice thing, they can be a terrible thing. You know, people can get the wrong impression on a tattoo and people can get the right impression. Uh, every place that I've been so far, people have basically gotten the right impression, as far as I can tell. Uh, people look at my tattoo and they're just like, oh man, that's a really nice tattoo. Uh, we're assuming that, you know, it, it's because something bad happened in your life. And there have been a lot of bad things that have happened in my life. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I ended up being uh, homeless for a little while. Um, twice, actually, <laughs> ironically. Uh, and then I got into the military. I got back into the military, and then I wasn't homeless anymore after that. Which not a lot of people can. Uh, I mean, a lot of people uh, can say that they're homeless or that they've been homeless at some point in time. Uh, you know, I mean, if you were sleeping on your friend's couches and crap like that because you don't have a roof over your head. You're homeless. Uh, you know, I mean... In... But it also varies. With the people. You know, I mean, my... Retrospective opinion... Being homeless implies... That you don't have somebody to go home to. Um, you know, I mean... Your family could be your home. Or your significant other can be your home. Or your friends could be your home. You know, a house is just a house in my book. Uh, and, you know, I mean, it's just like ink on your body, you know. It's just ink. Uh, but behind it is the reasons behind it that matter. Uh, and why you chose to get it, where you got it, or anything that has to do with that matter. The reason why I got this tattoo here for this very reason is I have another Apple Watch that I'm gonna be putting on soon as well as changing my phone here in a few days. Um, but basically, every time that I lift my left arm, um, I've had an Apple Watch. I've had two, this is like my third Apple Watch that I have now that I still have not uh, started using, which is ironic, because my first tattoo when I got it, it wasn't until a month after I had got it that I started using it. That was because originally I got it from my mom uh, for Mother's Day, and she's just like, get rid of it. And I'm just like, no, if you're not gonna have it, I'm gonna keep it for myself. You know, I mean, that was my intention. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, the following month it was uh, Father's Day, and so, you know, I mean, I wore it up until I felt like, hey, you know what, it's Father's Day, I'm just gonna give it to my dad. My dad was just like, no take it back in get your money back my parents have been like that for years you know they and I mean, I'm not gonna say anything bad about them but they don't feel like me spending money is uh, the best scenario because when I spend money I get it on really nice expensive things but you also got to think for a brief minute all right the nicer newer things will last you longer than the older crappier rundown versions of them now, Series 2 Apple Watch, that thing is still kicking. I gave it to a friend uh, of mine. Series 3 Apple Watch that I had. Uh, I gave it to my ex prior to uh, the whole reason behind. I'm not going to go into the reason. I mean, I did briefly. I gave a brief synopsis as to the reason behind that relationship ending, but basically... Uh, <clears throat> it was back in March when I gave her her Apple Watch. Uh, I gave her a brand new phone for her birthday and Christmas present, uh, which I don't regret. Uh, she and I are kind of like on speaking terms, but not speaking terms. It's very, it's very uh, a tricky situation, and I'm not going to go into that. Uh, part of my life right now because I don't see relevance in it um, <clears throat> but she is the one thing that I don't ever want to forget uh, which is another reason behind uh, this tattoo is I've been through so much crap in my life that basically um, 
you know, she's one of the very few things that I never want to forget as well as uh, my heritage and the issues that I've had growing up and, uh, you know, other issues that were related to me um, in some form or way. Um, but when it comes down to it all, I think it has more to do with the retrospective uh, opinions of others that uh, really resonate with, you know, the way you're going to turn out. Because um, I know for myself, uh, the tattoo that I'm getting the full sleeve, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just going to tell you, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to influence people into getting tattoos. Um, the reason behind me getting this tattoo is because, you know, I wanted to and because I felt like I have, I have enough baggage to where I have a reason to get one. Um, but basically, uh, it's either going to be on this side of my arm, or it's going to be in the forearm. Uh, and basically, it's going to be a forest with uh, the moon, basically the moon, um, and a forest surrounding the dire wolf and whatnot, and you know other things uh, included with uh, a pack or flock of. Uh, deer, if you will, um, or deers, depending on how you want to say it and view it, because deers is apparently a word, has been a word since like 2017, I think it's been two years, almost three years now, that deers have, has been a word, god, <clears throat> our generation is so screwed, um, but yeah, when it comes down to it all, you really just gotta you uh, the reasons behind you deciding to get a tattoo worthwhile um, if you will and you know again it, it really just is a preference between people um, <clears throat> would I recommend getting a tattoo only if you think that's the best solution um, <clears throat> I know for myself uh, the tattoo that I got um, for me right now, that is the best solution. I mean, it was only 60 bucks. I mean, I'm not, like, 60 bucks, you know, come on. Uh, but, you know, for for $60, uh, you know, it, it resonates with uh, the person that you are. Uh, I know for myself, when it comes down to the whole tattoo thing, uh, not a lot of people like tattoos. Um, my parents don't like tattoos, ironically enough. Uh, yet, four of us have them. It's my brother Josh, my brother Dylan, another person, I believe that has a tattoo. I believe my brother Nate is looking at getting a tattoo, and I have a tattoo. It's a fun situation parents don't like it at least as far as I know I mean my parents don't care for them but they don't like them being on them or any of their children I don't understand them they're old school uh, but you know I mean every everybody has their own preference uh, but when it comes down to getting a tattoo all I'm gonna say is make sure that it's something that you absolutely want to get forever you can have it surgically removed you know, that's fine uh, or you can burn the tattoo off I don't know It'd be very painful but at the end of the day uh, <clears throat> you know a tattoo is just a tattoo uh, and you know I mean I'll probably end up making another video as to the reason for the hair that I have as well as me deciding to grow out a beard but I think that might be for uh, much, much later time.